Why could you call sa? Why could you keep up there? <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry, I just went came from the gym, went for a run. Where we won't redo this video because we're gonna keep it all natural. So yeah, I just went to the, went to work, went to the gym, went for a run, and now we are here. A little bit out of breath, but we're still gonna make this video. I haven't made a video with me in front of the camera for a while. It's almost been a month. But just going through some some tough phases, trying to get back on track. Um, because of my work schedule, I haven't been able to come to the Godora as much, right? Because I used to work on Saturdays and Sundays. Sunday, uh, Sunday, there's a guru of the program, right? <coughs> and there you have Sangat. The thing is, I can go to the Godora as well on the other days, but the pro thing is. Sunday program is a bit different and I'll tell you why a lot of people were like oh people just do chukli and India all this stuff right I get that but once a week at least having Sangat if you have a Godwara it is so important I feel that for people that live in areas that don't even have Godwaras I take it for granted because I'll tell you why <clears throat> one week I would go seven to, one week my work was seven to three in the morning and the other week was 3 to 11. So the weeks that were 7 to 3, I couldn't go to the Godwara. But the weeks that were 3 to 11, I could still go to the Godwara. But like one week I would miss and then I wouldn't go go the next week. And it would just, like I would go here and there. But then it ended up being two months where I didn't go to the Godwara. And my life was just, it was horrible. Depression, hardly any, like the thing is, you can still live life normally. But when you have that sense of enlightenment, happiness and once that goes away from you it hurts like you thirst for it it's like a nasha nam is a nasha nam the love of a guru it's a high that's why you die for it because once you earn it you it's really it's hard to survive without it you need it so that's why I say to other people, take it slow, don't go in too quick, because once you feel that sort, sort that type of enlightenment, it's very difficult, very difficult to survive without it after. So it's like when you go Sikhi, don't get into meditation too quick, <coughs> never run, run into it, right? But yeah, I'm just, I'm not where I would like to be. My mind is telling me that I was doing better off before taking the Amrit. But that's not true. It's just that uh, thirst of it. Thirst of uh, Nam, Simran and stuff. And I was even told when I take Amrit. And uh, for the first few months it's going to feel real good. And then you're going to get into a state of why did I even take this depression. I was even thinking, why did I take this? I'm feeling... Um, feeling all low and this and that it's just it's it's just maya kal kal will always do that but the what what I, the main part of this video is why is sangat important because in bani it says the good sex need the sangat all right wherever it is you need it me living in a small town it's really hard to get good sex on the sangat but what i've planned is i talk to this even if as a manmuks or people that are Monne and stuff, if you just get together meditation. I talked to one other lady, she's interested in meditating. <coughs> Once a week, sit down half an hour, one hour. Simenagaro. But it is so crucial to get into Sangat. Every Sunday, once a week. It's because we go through so much stuff in a week. That one visit to the Goddara refreshes us. Refreshes every single thing that we've been through the week conflicts, uh, relationships, uh, work, school, you name it. It relaxes us from all that tension. All right? And Sangat is where we meet other Gursaks too, like us. Especially if you're living in a small town, you're always around, if you're around other communities and stuff, right? It's very hard, right? That's kind of like a sense, a sense of belonging, right? So Gudwara Jao, once a week, even if it's Sunday, some, think about this guys, even I'm telling the people in the big cities, we take it for granted, think about the people that don't even have a Gudwara in their city, they're, oh, I wish there was 
um, a Gurdwara that I'll go to my road job. That's what some people do say. They say if I had a Gurdwara in my town, I'll go every day. <coughs> and if we can't go once a week on when there's Sunday programs, that's too bad. Right? So Gurdwara, it's good. You know, it, there's nothing wrong in it to go Gurdwara. Right? Even if you have, don't have time, you know, that that's a sad thing. Even, even I do it. We take out so much time from our phone and Salakosh, right? But we don't even have time to spend for Vaiguru. It's like, it's such a sh shameful thing, right? Something that I want to improve on. Something that we got to all improve on, right? And by making these videos, it helps and supports. But I need you guys in the comment sections to ask me what I should make my next videos on. The reason why I'm not making videos is because it's iktar on the sense of guilt because before I wasn't really Amritari, but I was still on my journey, this and that. But as an Amritari, I should be more disciplined so that's why i'm not making videos you know i'm just like you guys right but if you guys want any like video topics i can always talk about it right as long as it's in my alley stream i can always raise my opinions they're just my opinions right so it's always pull chuck them off but um yeah i hope you guys are doing well i know i'm not getting much of my videos out there but it's just like a transition phase so that's why you probably won't see me see me too much but um yeah i'll let you guys take care now i'm getting phone calls and yeah take care